Hey y'all, Shady here. <laughs> Welcome back to another one of these. Uh, I'm trying something a little different, uh, as I usually try to do. Uh, today we're just using free programs to make a song. I thought that would be kind of cool because I know a lot of you want to kind of get into it. So I thought, why not do it this way? So let's do the thing. But first, are you a fellow music lad who's looking to get your music out there and finally make some sweet, sweet bag off of it? Well, you don't make bag, you, you've chased the bag. Whatever, uh, you can do that thanks to today's sponsor, DistroKid. Yeah, it's a sponsored video again, awesome. Now, if you guys don't know what DistroKid is, I'll sum it up real quick. I've been with them for maybe three or four years now. It's how I get all of my music out there. Basically, they are a service where you submit your song and they get it out to a bunch of stores. You got your Amazon, you got your iTunes, you got Google Play, Spotify, all of that stuff. You get 100% of the revenue uh, from the streams and sales, uh, all for the low, low price of $20 a year. It's good. <laughs> I'm personally on a higher plan uh, because I'm a simp for them stats and extra features. But uh, yeah, that's you know a good summary. But today I thought I'd talk about a little feature they have called Hyperfollow. Now, Hyperfollow is a completely free and powerful lad of a promotional tool for anyone using DistroKid. These days in our little music climate, it's uh, super beneficial to have one link that leads to your music on all streaming services. And that's where Hyperfollow comes in. The instant you finish uploading at DistroKid, you can start marketing your release and collecting pre-saves on Spotify, including fan email addresses with Hyperfollow. Just, just simp- them stats, they coming back. <laughs> Real big stats. As soon as your release goes live on its release date, your Hyperfollow page will automatically update to include links to all the streaming services. You can also edit your Hyperfollow page to include links to Bandcamp, links to videos, etc. Your Hyperfollow link never changes and you'll never have to update your marketing copy or social media posts. You can find your Hyperfollow link on your distro... Uh, you can find your Hyperfollow link on your DistroKid album page. Easy. Super simple. So if you want all these cool things and you want to get your music out there very nice and very fast, you can use this link right here and you will get 7% off your first year's membership. So uh, yeah, check it out. And thank you so much, DistroKid, for the sponsor. Always helps out. Always great. And now on with the funky, funky video. Let's go. Okay, so if you guys don't know what a DAW is, D-A-W, it's a digital audio workstation. It's where basically all your work is done. Uh, for your audio stuff, and I use Cubase 10 Pro, but that's not free. It's very far from free. So I got a uh, Reaper here, and I believe the free version is a trial version, but I think it's as generous as WinRAR. Um, that being said, if it's something that you find yourself enjoying, I always recommend buying. It's always good to support. And for the VSTs, VSTs are kind of like uh, music programs that, that uh, the DAWs can run. Think of the DAWs like a video game console, and the VSTs is like a game, but I'm using Native Instruments Complete Start, which is free. Um, and this is absurd for something that is free, as far as I know, because these programs are pretty, pretty damn good. But um, yeah, let's let's go check it out. Okay, so I have like guitar from their world thing. It's called World TKT uh, Bass thing. Hybrid keys, urban beats. I don't know why I picked urban beats. I'm not gonna lie. I actually have like a test clip here that I did just to make sure everything worked. It's in 7-4. I don't know. We'll do a thing with it, maybe. And then Ethereal Earth, which is like cool backgroundy thing. So yeah, let's give it a let's give it a shot. Okay, we're gonna make this one kind of quick because well, one, I'm on break and I don't want to push it. But also, I wanted I, I tried taking a nap for <laughs> for 20 minutes and it ended up being four hours. So I'm kind of behind schedule. You can learn how to use this from like Google. But basically, yeah, you know, you get your piano roll. But you, you know, I I just held control like this. And then I just made a clip like that. After that, you just kind of double click on the box you made. And then you get a piano roll and you map it out. Same way as Cubase, kind of. So yeah, we got that. Let's move on to TRK1 bass, which I think is pretty damn thick. Oh, God. Wait, what's happening over there? What is this? Mirror to- Whoa, God, what? Let's not- let's not deal with that. Goddamn singularity mode. Is that too fast? Oh my God. Wait, you know what? Never mind. I can't. I can't do that. That's gonna sound too much like that one Mario RPG song. It's not my direct inspiration, but it's whatever. This is gonna sound kind of similar to Break the Cycle, isn't it? Yeah.
So I might have to change up a few of this. Like, the beat's a little uh, overpairing. Let's see what hybrid keys is all about. Oh, it's like a harpy p kind of piano. A harp, a harp, a harpano. A bu- A <laughs> A paisano. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, let's try and make a big chord. <laughs> Can I glue these lads together? How do I get them to have brotherly shown in love? I think I'm gonna add one more thing from Complete Start, and I believe it's Analog Dreams, which is something I actually use. I forgot how to find it. Oh, wow. Okay, well, you're not gonna have all of these, but... <laughs> Wait, did I just see that right? Was that just Alicia's keys? That is... That is Alicia's keys. That's a that's from the piano that Alicia Keys used on some album or something. And they called it Alicia's Keys, and I lose it every time I hear that. That might be a little too hardcore. Might want to make it more subdued than this. Metroid 5. Mutant Metroid boss theme. Oh, I'm just messing around. That sounded kind of cool. Could probably do something with that. Maybe it should be higher, like... Maybe it should be a D. As... Jonathan Sailorman. As John... John Donovan Once discovered the land of... Sp... 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 Spinarbia, I too will learn... How to do the thing. This might actually go somewhere. All right, now I want to change up these bass notes to kind of match the rhythm in the back, since the chords change. I could keep it this same way too to create like a different kind of effect, but uh, I, we're not doing that today. <laughs> what other urban beats do we got in here? I don't even know if an urban beat really works with any of this, but hey, let's keep let's keep trying it. That actually sounds infinitely better than what I had before. Wow, and it's the first option. What is what is up with me? <laughs> I'm gonna simplify this a lot more because I think there's too much going on in the drums. Yeah, that actually sounds a lot cooler. Let's try something like that. Maybe without drums in the beginning? Let's see. Like halfway through like this. I want to try something hilarious. Uh, I want to try moving this. In, uh, hang on. Just give me a second here. Just, just bear with me on this one. Let's try and figure out a lead. Cool. That's already like a minute worth of music right there, but... I want to add one more little part that would be kind of neat. When you move this around... I want to play around with that somehow. You know, I never tried this guitar thing. How, how does this even sound? Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, wait, let me lower the velocity. Maybe that's why it's doing the weird slide there. Yeah, there you go. All right, it's getting late. Let's wrap this up. This ain't a bad set of chords here. Same shape, but you just move it around a little bit. That's the cool part about big chords. Hmm.
These cords are red. A little fun with octaves there, because why not? Yeah. All right, the free sounds have been implemented. Let's see how they sound. Yeah, not too bad. I think I might actually make this into a real thing. I like that bridge part there. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty wacky. So yeah, that was a song with some free programs. Hello everyone, and welcome to End Thing. This is where the thing ends, and I do the end voice. It's the same voice as usual, except now it's the end. Um, I hope you all enjoyed that. Be sure to- oh man, was that a voice crack? <clears throat> Puberty 2.0. I hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, hit that little subscribe button to see more content. Go ahead, go do it. Click on it right there. That's all. It makes the sound too. It goes. It doesn't, but if you time it on the count of three when I do it, it'll do the click sound. Ready? One, two, three. You did it. You have subscribed. Thank you. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was a lot of fun. Uh, it just shows, you know, you can get a bunch of little free things. You could put something together. Um, you don't need the most expensive gear in the world. And I could have made it probably sound way better and more realistic if I really wanted to make it realistic. It wasn't meant to be that way, but um, you can do a lot with free programs these days. The variety is huge. So, um, you know, get in there, experiment, and just, just figure out stuff. Use Google. Use YouTube. Get some tutorials. Find out what free DAWs you want to use. It doesn't have to be Reaper here. You can do anything you want. It doesn't have to be like a 1-1 one -one of what I do, you know? But, uh, yeah, go check it out if you want. And, um, special shout out to my patrons going across the screen right now for, uh, helping keep this channel alive and continuing to make it a full-time job for myself, especially in, in these times of need. I if, you know, re rewards sound good to you, like, uh, free early song downloads, um, figuring out my future plans. There's also every once in a while, like if I release a guitar song, there'll be a guitar and bass tab for it. Um, all depends on what you pledge. So check out my Patreon pledge to support the channel. And uh, yeah, I also have a Twitch and a Twitter, which I, I like to do stream things. I've been streaming a lot lately. We go through games together. Um, we, we, we sometimes I'll make music like this on stream. It's not super often, but you know, give, give, the, give the Twitch a follow and uh, we can hang out. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. 
Um, special shout out to District Kid once again for sponsoring this channel. Yeah, that's all. I will see you guys uh, whenever I'm off the break. So, yeah, see you later. Stay safe.